Hey, what is going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Films. So today we got an interesting but quick tutorial. We're gonna do a card wipe effect, kind of like this, kind of show you guys how the card wipe effect works. And simply just from text to text, and you can also use this for pictures, but you know, it's not the most intuitive effect to use because there's a few parameters you have to tweak before you can use this effect effectively. Okay, so here we are inside of After Effects in a new composition, and I have a background, which we don't need to talk about, and I have two text layers. I have my Sunduck text layer, and I also have another text layer called Card Wipe. So for this, you can go ahead and just type out your two uh, lines of text. And remember, you can also use this for images as well, but I'm just going to be using text. And let's go ahead and make sure our top, our first text we want to start with is enabled while we're hiding the uh, second piece of text. And then let's go up to Effect Transition, and we'll go ahead and grab the Card Wipe effect. So I'll go through this and break down all the parameters. Just so if you never used this effect before, you can kind of get an understanding how this works. So if we scrub through here through the transition completion, as you can see, we can kind of see the text kind of, you know, uh, you know, sort of spinning a little bit, like kind of breaking up and doing like a 360 spin. And, you know, so far, you know, we have to animate that. So let's start off by uh, setting the transition completion to 0% and let's add a, uh, let's click the stopwatch to add a keyframe. And then let's go to like, I don't know, like two seconds and set the transition completion to 100%. And, you know, just like that, we can see that animation go by. So then we have the transition width, which is basically going to be the, uh, you know, the amount of spin there's going to be. So, if, for example, set that to 100%. Uh, it's only, it's only going to spin the uh, X axis. Uh, if we go ahead and bring that down to like, you know, 16% or something, it's going to kind of just uh, do it in more of a subtle increment. So that's just something to keep in mind, but keep that at 50%. And we want the back layer to card wipe, which is our other text layer. As we see here, it starts off as Sunduck and then it wipes right onto our text layer. I'm going to set the rows and columns to 15, just like that. And they'll kind of be more of a square sort of card. And of course we can say, hey, we want to flip this over the Y axis or we want it to be completely random. And I want to keep it set at random. And, you know, we can change it to random as well as for the flip direction. You know, that can be really interesting. Flip order, you know, we can set it from bottom right to top left. So that's how it'll, you know, flip from that area. Of course you want to experiment with these three different options. Uh, we can set the timing randomness to like one. So there'll kind of be like a delay or just, you know, kind of a variation between this to the next, uh, you know, transition here to card wipe. Uh, you know, random seed, obviously that's, you know, just for randomness. Then, of course, we have some camera position options. So if you want to like, you know, rotate this as, uh, you know, the animates or whatever, you can easily do that. You can, you know, affect the Z position, you know, kind of the focal length a little bit, which is very similar to Z position, but that's more of a, more of a camera term which is really not too important for this video, but let's go right into the lighting. And of course you can, uh, you know, mess with the, you know, the intensity of the light. So as you can see, it kind of works like a actual 3D object as, you know, it turns away from the light as the card sort of turns there. It kind of gets darker. So you can always, uh, you know, mess with the different settings in here, mess with the lighting. You can change the position of the light. So as you can see, I moved it down a little bit and got a little bit darker because uh, it got moved a little further away. And of course you can mess with the material. Uh, you know, of course, the position and rotation jitter is also a fun of parameter to look at. We can kind of animate this. So if we really want this to be offset, we can easily mess with these parameters. Uh, but I'm not going to for this video. But just go ahead and kind of take a look at what this effect has to offer. Now, we can even take this further and make this really cool. So let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do is select our uh, main text layer, which is going to be my Sunduck layer. And I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that by going up to Edit, Duplicate. And we'll bring this layer right underneath our, our uh, main Sunduck layer. And let's hit U on the keyboard to bring up the keyframes. And we can kind of see where everything is at. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe offset this by a little bit. And actually, quite in fact, let's go ahead and select all the keyframes and bring it back by a second. So our text is at least up here for one second. And then let's go ahead and maybe drag this endpoint in and offset the keyframes just by a little bit. So now what we're going to do is maybe hide our top layer here and go ahead and select our Sunduck layer and maybe change the color of it to like, you know, an orange or something, it's more yellow. And then as you see, 
would kind of get sort of a nice little uh, yellow variation in there as it transitions over to our next text layer. So let's say we want to add more text and use this uh, card wipe transition as like a seamless way to transition on more text. So what we can do is we can turn on the card wipe layer. Um, as you can see though, it's going to be right on top of everything. So we need to go to like the last keyframe here for our Sunduck 2 layer and we'll go ahead and just drag the end point of card wipe in here to the last uh, keyframe here. So as you can see, we won't have any issues. And then once the Sunduck transition is done here, what we can do is go to edit and split layer and just delete the split layers there. So now the card wipe is completely you know, isolated from the effect. And what we can do is copy the card wipe effect and paste it into our second text layer here. And of course, appropriately position the keyframe. So let's say we want the text transition over at five seconds. Of course, it's probably really bad timing, but whatever. And maybe what we can do is duplicate the card wipe layer, put it underneath, hit U on our keyboard, see where the keyframes are at. Uh, maybe go ahead and bring the endpoint in right there and maybe offset it just by a touch. And then go ahead and of course, change the color of the card wipe. Boom. And then, and then once more, we'll go to the text title tool and we'll type in another text. And then now with our new text in here, we'll go to the card wipe over here and we'll set the back layer to subscribe or at least our new text layer. And of course we need to go to the last keyframe here, grab our subscribe text and drag that in to right there. And then we'll come here and split these and delete them. And then just like that, we'll be able to transition right over to our new text. And after a quick render, this is what we have. And it's a pretty seamless transition. And I think it's really cool. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you guys did, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Perfect timing. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more After Effects videos just like this. And please hit me up on my social media networks. So those links are in the description of this video. And as always, thank you for watching this video. And I hope you have a good day.